Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at how to integrate Active Directory with AWS, which will allow the users on the Active Directory to log in into AWS without those users being specifically created into AWS. So this whole configuration is broken down into three main parts. First, we will configure the Active Directory service. Second, we will configure the Active Directory Federation service and set up the trust relationship with AWS. And finally, we will configure the AWS to trust ADFS, configure the IDP provider. All right, so let's take a look into it. This video is based on a very nicely documented AWS blog on how to configure this step by step. So let's take a quick look into how this integration works. So in this example, a user logs in using his browser to the Active Directory web page. We will see what web page we are talking about later in the video. But for now, a user logs into a page hosted on the Active Directory, which validates the user's credentials using the local database, sends out a SAML assertion back to the user's browser, which will send post a SAML assertion request to the C STS sign-in service, which will then return back a temporary credentials to the AWS browser, and the user will be able to log in into the AWS services. So without further ado, let's start and go through step-by-step -step on how to configure this. In my lab setup, I have a Windows 2012 R2 server, which has nothing installed. So we will start by configuring the required services, move on to configuring Active Directory and so on and so forth. So, okay, let's start by configuring the Active Directory requirements. Add roles and features. Select Active Directory domain services. Active Directory Federation Services, DNS, and Web Server. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a new forest on this fresh Active Directory. We will start by clicking on add a new forest and name it anything. Provide your password, next, 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 next. Okay. So now click install. And this starts the process of installing Active Directory onto the server. Okay, so the installation has finished. Click on close. And we will reboot this server now. Go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on New, Group. Let's take a quick look into the AWS User Group Naming Convention in AD. So we will start by AWS the account ID in AWS, and then the name of the Active Directory group, which will need to be replicated onto the AWS site. And let's create a user within that group. So we will create a user name. And make the user part of the group which we created earlier. Also, make sure that this user has an email address if you're following this documentation because this email address will be sent as a part of the SAML assertion to AWS. If it is not there, you will have authentication problems. So, apply. All right, so Active Directory piece is configured. 
now let's move on to ADFS. Okay, so let's create the user for the ADFS service. New user ADFS service ADFS service Okay, another requirement is the SPN needs to be set for this newly created user. So, we, so the command is to do that is pretty straightforward. Set SPN hyphen A host local host ADFS service. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a self signed certificate which will be used by the ADFS service. Let's name it web cert. Okay. And export the certificate. So let's go to the desktop. Certificate name. We have now completed the basic requirements for setting up the ADFS service. Now let's go ahead and configure the service itself. The service was already installed, so click on Configure Federation Services. Click on Next. Next. Select the certificate which we exported earlier. Provide the password. A display name. Next. Select the service username. Remember the service which we created earlier. ADFS okay next 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 configure okay so now our ADFS setup has been done we, the next step is to configure the SAML settings on the Active Directory side so click on tools Active Directory Federation Management Click on Trust Relationship. Click on Relying Party Trusts. Click on Add Relying Party Trust. Start. And here you will have to provide the AWS metadata URL. All of these steps are in the documentation on my blog and on the AWS website. Next. Let's change the display name. permit all users to access the service next next okay so now move on to the next steps here of configuring the transform rules click on add rule select transform an incoming claim next name it name ID incoming claim type as Windows account name outgoing claim type as name ID select the outgoing name ID as persistent identifier click on finish add another rule send LDAP attributes as claims next claim rule name is role session name attribute store as active directory email address and here we will paste the URL click on finish apply add another role claims using a custom rule next name it get ad groups and we will here paste the rule from the blog okay finish add another rule Click on next, name it roles and paste the config for the same. Let's take a look here. So notice this uses the format which we created earlier. So AWS, your specific account name and the ARN. So in the ARN, we will, I have replaced this value here with my AWS account number. IDP one is the 
name which I will be configuring in the AWS as the IDP provider. Click on finish, apply, done. Now let's move on to configuring this trust relationship onto the AWS side. The first step which we need to do is download the XML file from your ADFS service. Okay, we have this file here on to the desktop. Okay, so now let's log into AWS, find IAM, click on identity providers, create provider, SAML, IDP1, remember, with the same name which we did in the Active Directory configuration. Choose file, desktop, next, create. Okay, good. Now the next step is to create a role which the user logging in from Active Directory will assume when they log in into AWS. So click on roles, create role, SAML, SAML provider is IDP, which we just created. And for this example, we will give it both programmatic and management console access. Next, we will give it access to, we will make it an admin user. Next, next, role name. ADFS AWS admin, create role. Okay, so now the configuration part is complete. Let's go ahead and test our setup. Okay, so now let's test our configuration. Click on sign in. This is the URL which the users will be logging into. Choose the Active Directory Federation Services site. Sign in. The username. And log in. Okay, awesome. So you can see the user is logged in into the account. Uh, with the role ADFS admin. The interesting part here is the SAML assertion which is catched up by the browser. So click on SAML and you should be able to see the SAML data. What I have found out is majority of the time when there's an error uh, in the SAML response, you would need to focus on this section here. So your responses should look like the role session name should be set to the email address of the user the role should have a comma separated response mapping to the ARN in AWS. If you see an error during logging in into AWS using your SAML portal, try to come back and focus here. I have posted a working snippet of this SAML response on my blog post, which I referenced earlier. So you can use that to match your SAML responses for troubleshooting. Thanks for watching.